<laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> we heard some um, banging. Yes, my son uh, Roland would like to have um, schnitzel with a chanterelle sauce today and mm -hmm. with some dumplings. So we are going to do the schnitzel with the chanterelle sauce. I'm just going to, we have some sirloin chop, chop here without the bone. And I put it in between two. What is it? Pork loin? Uh, no, it's sirloin chop. Yeah, it's not the totally best. Sirloin? Sirloin? Yeah, sirloin chop. Yeah, okay. without the bone. Okay. And I have heavy, so between two plastic, otherwise you're going to injure it. Yeah. Okay. And you make your board dirty. And mm -hmm. We'll take it, look at this, yeah. flip it over. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And the little flat is not bad. Yeah. Just leave it. And when you watch me, I don't hit it like this. Yeah. I kind of hit it and let it drop mm. almost, right? Yeah. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise you're going to destroy your schnitzels here, right? Are they pork or beef? Pork. Oh, pork. Yeah. Schnitzel is never The pork sirloin? Yeah, sirloin, yeah. It's very good for this. Mm. You want to have a little marbled mm -hmm. for this particular thing. Mm. And what you do is salt. I love the banging. Yeah. Freshly ground pepper. The cap always takes off. Mm -hmm. the banging starts. Salt and pepper. And what we do here in the meantime, just to interrupt this process, we have a big cast iron pan. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. It's heated up already. Put some oil in. Yeah. Okay. And Is that then olive oil? I use olive oil, yeah, mm -hmm. for this here. And what you do then is you put a little bit of butter in it mm -hmm. and some garlic butter too. But you need the oil for the heat, right? Yes, yes. You, you cannot do anything without the oil. Okay. Because otherwise your butter will burn like this. Yeah. So. so now you go and put some butter. Okay, and also some garlic butter. Okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Garlic butter. So now you're going to act quickly because otherwise it's going to burn. So here, little in flour. Okay. It'll give it a little bit of a, of a texture. Right. Yeah. Okay. 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 Here. This is not a Vienna schnitzel. This is a schnitzel that will be served with the sauce. So. Okay. Um, therefore, it's not, this one is not a, a schnitzel with a panade on it, right? With the right. bread crumbs and egg and so on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, it will kind of shrivel up a little bit. Yeah. And you want this foam. The foam you want the foaming. Yeah, yeah, you want the foaming. Yeah. And turn the heat down a little bit. Yeah. Turn the heat down. What, what, why, why do you want the foam? Um, the butter has the best taste. It, okay. it kind of caramelizes, or it, it's not. It's not the right name. It, mm -hmm. I don't have the right name right now. But the butter, the it's butter? Not, yeah, the brown butter has an amazing taste. Yeah. So that's what you want, right? Yeah. So we'll leave I it like the this. Food Network has some brown butter. That's right. That's good. So that's what we got here. That's exactly what we have here, brown butter. Amazing right. taste. Kind of a nutty flavor, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So about, Very nice about color. Three, yeah. Three, three or four minutes it, and yeah. pass. Until it's a little brown, yeah. right? And then we'll turn it. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about cooking it through. You just want to have a little bit of a crust on the outside, right? Why is that? Uh, because it tastes better and it goes better with some mushroom sauce. 
So if, if you didn't do that, then you would get kind of a goulash type thing yeah. where the meat just Won't cooks the cause of yeah. cooks. You don't want that, right? You just want this. And we'll do the same with the rest of them and we'll come back after. Okay. So you just do the second batch, yeah, but second keep batch. these warm in here? Yeah, it's not, you just keep yeah. them, like, just keep them. Okay. They get heated up after, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. All we want to do is do both batches. Okay. Plain onions? Yeah, onions, plain onions. Always when you want to make a sauce, you just use like this. You don't, there's no use to using red onions or other, the plain ones are the best and yeah. the most flavor. So is that, so. that's the leftover brown yeah. butter and the dripping? Brown butter, drippings and oil from yeah. the schnitzel. And I think I'm gonna do more because we have quite a few schnitzels there. Oops, yeah. that's for the gods. you do here you just soft the onions and the good thing is it was quite hot so when yeah. you put the onions in it cools the sauce down right away yeah. and your um and your and, and your mm -hmm. butter doesn't burn so much yeah you like to have a little bit of a color to it right so that's butter garlic butter and all the things from the drippings from the shit so everything yeah. well that looks good you use everything, don't you? Yeah. yeah. But that's my way of cooking. You know, I never cook with a real no. recipe. No. I, I fly by the seat of my pants. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh -oh. okay. <laughs> Tastes good anyway. So, I'm going to add just a little bit, because the onions are really gobbling up, up a little bit of garlic butter here to yeah. this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And here's a little butter. This just takes a five minutes or so, so we can yeah. come back. Onions are nice and transparent now. So what you do is you start sprinkling a little flour on the top and blend it in right away, so they don't even the flour doesn't even has a, have a chance to make little, you know, little dumplings or whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more, a little roux. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what we'll do then is we'll use some chicken stock. We'll use that chicken beef. stock and everything, don't we? Yeah. Or beef stock, you know, depending yeah. on what I do. Chicken stock goes well with pork. Beef yeah. stock would work too. Yeah. So we have this here now. Mm -hmm. Now I take um, my chanterelles that yeah. I can in the towel and I pressure can them, of course. And that's why they're so hard to get open. And just pour them in. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Those are local mushrooms, local, right? Local chanterelle mushrooms, yeah. From Vancouver Island here. And Fantastic. Okay. Now, what mushrooms do need is a lot of pepper to bring the flavor out. Mm -hmm. So, with and what we also put in is some capers, and they need a little bit of acidity. And I just use the little um, the, the sauce, the pickling juice from the capers in this case. Okay. And but you could also use the lemon, it would be okay too. And we have pepper here, lots of pepper. And that's very important for mushrooms. Pepper and acidity. Okay? Um, my sea salt. Yeah. It's very simple, it's not a big big thing, right? 
And now we'll take our schnitzels, oh, put okay. them back in here, heat them up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and see, we want all this goodness in here too. Mm -hmm. And if you just could hold on there a little bit, I'll come mm -hmm. in a moment. Finish it off. You put in some parsley, generous amount of parsley, really well with mushrooms. Goes fantastic with mushrooms. And what you do at the end, turn it off, and you put in a generous amount of heavy cream. And that's how it goes on the table. What what is it called in? Uh, it's a pork schnitzel, pork with a, a schnitzel in with a chantal sauce. sauce. Yeah, and it's eaten either with potatoes. Yeah. You could also make a nice pasta with it. Fantastic. <coughs> uh, but we use bread dumplings, oh, yeah. and I guess we show those another time. And we make them the next. If there was a man, could you make it with mushroom soup or something? I know you don't like mushrooms. I know, you, you just always like to poke <laughs> me a little bit, don't you? You know, we do real cooking here, not, yeah. not mushroom soup cans. <laughs> when I hear mushroom soup can, I, everything just, my hair goes up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. So, Sorry yeah. for teasing. You could, no, you could also use, chunk, uh, you know, regular mushrooms. Yeah. Brown, white, yeah. you know, the, the, the mm. cremini mushrooms or the regular white ones or yeah. whatever mushrooms you want, right? Okay. Yeah. Put to bello, right. yeah, whatever, yeah. So here's the schnitzel with the mushroom, um, mushroom sauce. What is the name of the mushroom again, Vanessa? Uh, chanterelles. Chanterelles. Yeah, and here's extra sauce. <coughs> Very nice.